Like the settlers of New France, Elwood Reed has broken new ground. Reed, The Bridge, is the creator, showrunner, and executive producer of Barkskins. The eight-hour limited series debuts starting at 9 8th C Monday, May 25th, on National Geographic Channel, with back-to-back -back episodes running for four consecutive Mondays. Barkskins, based on the 2016 novel by Annie Prue, marks Nagio's entry into fiction-based scripted programming. The 700-plus page epic tells about a mysterious massacre of settlers in the wilds of 1690s New France that threatens to throw the region into an all-out war. Set in Wapak, a small settlement in what is now the Canadian province of Quebec, Barkskins weaves the tale of a disparate group of outcasts, rogues, and innocents caught up in a dangerous place and time. Grabbing the opportunity to work with Prue and executive director Scott Rudin was a no-brainer for Reed. Annie Prue as a novelist and a writer meant an immense amount to me, Reed recalled. Scott Rudin is a producer that I've admired for a very long time. So it was very easy to say yes to a project like that. Getting involved with Barkskins was the easy part. Next came assembling the pieces for a successful production. First up was distilling Prue's massive novel. Reed admitted that it was a daunting task. First of all, you take a deep breath when you get a book that big, he said. Then, you toy with different ideas of how to adapt it. Reed realized that the book's 300 years of history was too much to cover in an eight-hour series. In the first 100 pages, there were a couple of characters and a tone that were extremely interesting to me, he said. Once I narrowed my focus, it was very easy to hone in on this very particular time period in North America and find awesome stories to tell there. Barkskins is graced with a talented international cast, topped by the critically acclaimed David Thewlis and Academy and Tony Awards winner Marcia Gay Harden. Reed credited the reputations of Thewlis and Harden for drawing other actors to the project. It's like drafting any kind of team, he explained. You'd better use your first picks wisely because it dictates who else wants to come play with you. Also coming to play were Anurin Barnard, James Bloor, Christian Cook, David Wilmot, Thomas M. Wright, Tallulah Haddon, Canidio, Tio, Horn, Lily Sullivan, and Zan McLarnon. Canadian actress Horn, best known for The Man in the High Castle, loved the camaraderie among the cast. It was one of those dream team experiences, she reminisced. If there was no official rehearsal schedule, we would actually get together on our off time and go over lines, discuss the characters' relationships, discuss where we're at, so we were fully prepared when we got to set, and we weren't figuring it out on set. Everybody wanted to do justice to all these characters in the storyline, so we put in our all. Horn didn't feel pressure despite the all-star cast.